Hey, Chris, KB3TQO here. Uh, today I'd like to show you uh, the uh, air cannon that I use for launching uh, antennas up into trees. It's certainly uh, changed the way I think about uh, deploying an antenna out in the field uh, when I'm camping in the woods or even here at the house uh, when I need to get up to the tops of the trees and uh, and it's, uh, well, you know, it's just not an easy thing to do sometimes. You can find yourself filling a water bottle up uh, full of, uh, of water and uh, tying a small string or something to it and uh, trying over and over and over again to get it over that branch you want to you wanna hit. And, uh, well, anyway, this air cannon has just changed the way I think about, uh, the way I think about setting up antennas. So, anyway, here we are. Now, this isn't my idea. This is uh, certainly a uh, copy. What you're looking at is the uh, the Air Cannon Complete uh, with uh, three inch PVC pipe down here. This is uh, what is it? Nine inches of pressure rated PVC, Schedule 40. If you're going to build one of these, make sure it's pressure rated because there is a foam core out there and it will not hold up to the pressure that you're going to put inside there. So 3 inch PVC, 9 inches long, schedule 40, pressure rated. Uh, two, I'm sorry, one 3 inch PVC schedule 40 cap and then a reducer from, what did we do? Uh, 3 inches down to inch and a half. I actually think uh, I think I had to do a couple fittings there. I don't remember. I covered it up with uh, camouflage duct tape. So it might be three inch to two inch and then two inch to inch and a half. Either way, I ended up down to an inch and a half. Um, used a drill bit. Uh, not sure what size. I only have a few sizes to install the uh, a bolt-in valve stem, which I used uh, PVC cement on the back of. Make sure you don't clog the hole if you're going to end up doing that. Uh, oh, that's another thing. Uh, while constructing this, uh, do get the PVC primer and uh, let the primer dry on the PVC first. Uh, even prior to putting the primer on, clean the PVC with alcohol. You want a really tight fit. You want a really secure fit. I'd hate to see what would happen if uh, one of these came apart under pressure. But anyway, um, so here we are going from three inches, I think it was to two inches at the, with the reducer, then to inch and a half, uh, inch and a half pipe here. No specific length is required, just uh, kind of keep it short so you don't have to reach for it too far forward to uh, release that valve when you're ready. Um, after the uh, one inch here is the uh, one, I'm sorry, one and a half inch uh, valve, then uh, three feet of inch and a half pipe to the very tip. Now over here on the very end is a uh, half inch PVC coupling. Uh, that I use as an eyelet uh, to guide to guide the uh, fishing string as it's going out. The original design that I saw actually used a closed-faced uh, fishing reel. I didn't have one, so I needed uh, I needed something to guide the fishing line as it was going out. Anyway, uh, what I did down there is I uh, took a piece of sandpaper. No, I didn't. I used a Dremel, and I flattened the top side of the barrel and the uh, bottom side of the eyelet there so uh, it made a good good uh, flush fitting uh, there a good flush fit uh, used PVC cement uh, clamped them together overnight in the morning they were uh, like a rock so anyway uh, used uh, two hose clamps down here to hold the fishing reel in place underneath the uh, the uh, camouflage duct tape there and uh, Okay, well that's it for the uh, the air cannon. There's not much to it there, folks. Not much to it. All you need is a bicycle pump and an air gauge uh, to figure out how much uh, pressure or to pump yourself up there and uh, figure out how much pressure you have. Let me show you what I'm shooting out of it. Okay, this is three quarter inch PVC. Three quarter inch PVC with three quarter inch PVC caps. They do need to be sanded down. I used a Dremel to do mine, you can tell. It's not the prettiest looking thing, but you know, this isn't a fashion show. And uh, down here on this end, 
I used just a regular fishing swivel and a eyelet which has a quarter a quarter by 20 inch thread on it on the back side of this I used uh, on the back side of this anyway I used a uh, quarter by 20 inch uh, nut to make sure that it wasn't going to come out of there um, inside of this you might want to weight it down I've used it both ways I found that um, when shooting the projectile into the wind or across the wind uh, without weight inside it it will push this around and you might end up in the wrong tree or going up over the, uh, the wrong tree so what I did uh, uh, my occupation as an auto technician uh, we have a uh, brake lathe for uh, resurfacing brake rotors and drums I used shavings from that it's like uh, metal sand if you will um, and filled it in inside there so we got a little bit of weight there uh, this thing definitely penetrates through the wind no problem uh, if you don't have access to something like that you know use your imagination sand rocks you know uh, whatever just something to weight it down if you uh, if you got a problem with shooting through the wind so anyway um, I found uh, you know your design might end up being a little different but I found uh, 20 pumps using this uh, little nifty difty uh, bicycle pump here gives me about 33 pounds of pressure and believe me that is more than enough to send your uh, projectile out there um, I'm gonna demonstrate this for you and uh, we're gonna be shooting down to the end of the yard and I'll do it on 33 pounds no problem if I wanted to uh, I could go to 30 pumps and easily get over top of those trees uh, yeah, 30 pumps would easily get over the tops of those trees from this distance. Um, and that's with the uh, the tether of the fishing line on it as well. I, I lost my first projectile uh, running a test run on the uh, air cannon. And, uh, well, I didn't have the tether on it, nor was it weighted. Um, I pumped the thing up, uh, what I have in there, 40 pounds might have been 40 pounds, 45 pounds, I don't know. It was a lot, and uh, I lost my first projectile way over those trees. I've been back in the woods, and I haven't found the thing yet. So, uh, I don't know. Either way. Anyway, so next uh, we're going to demonstrate this thing for you. It's, uh, I have a lot of fun with this thing. I've, uh, I've even put little small targets out in the back of the yard and, uh, and shot this thing uh, trying to hit them. I haven't hit one yet, but... Uh, you know, it's still a lot of fun trying, and the neighbors, uh, you get looks from the neighbors doing that kind of thing, too. So, anyway, next we're going to demonstrate this thing for you, and, uh, yeah, so. That's 33 pounds, 34 pounds, somewhere in there. All right, I'm gonna give this thing some serious angle here, and we'll see how far it gets down there.